Hello, I don't know if you can hear me, but today we are going to be playing Empires of the Undergrowth. Now, I really love this game, and I've played it for a good couple of hours, but I want... Oh, I accidentally clicked continue. Um, hold on. This isn't my world. Um, I had a friend over, and I let him play a bit. Um, I got to the final level of Empires of the Undergrowth. Um, let's go green. Um, hold on, what should I name this colony? Um, I've got to name it something. Uh, let's just name it Ant, since I, I can't think of a name. I see the queen has taken well to her new home. It, it's fascinating. She has already started to spawn. Incredible, really, that we found such a healthy specimen. How long until we can expect to see interspecies polymorphism? We should be patient and allow the colony to grow first. I've placed food nearby. Then we will introduce the Formica Fusca and observe the reaction. Excellent. Keep me updated on their progress. Okay, so we are going to put down some food tiles. <coughs> so you might know who I am, I don't think you do. Basically I have this other channel. Um, I had Turtle Man Adventure 1. Well, it wasn't called Turtle Man Adventure 1, but it was just called Turtle Man Adventure. The thing is, I moved out of that house, I couldn't find the phone anywhere. So I got Turtle Man Adventure 2, which is the channel I'm still continuing. Just, this one is dedicated to gaming. I'm going to check the footage just to see if the sound does come through. Because this is my first time recording. Let's actually get some more ants. Let's get them to dig out this bit. There we go. Now I'm gonna head on to the first level. Start on medium. This Formica Fusca queen has set up home beneath a rotting log. She is fat and vulnerable. Her first brood will need to move quickly if the colony is to survive. Their priority now is to find food, and there is plenty around. But there are other hungry creatures down here. The workers will need to be vigilant. The ants have encountered a pocket of woodworm. These defenseless weevil larvae will make an excellent meal for the colony. They will be butchered and carried off for processing. Now, I might not talk a lot, but um, usually when I'm focusing, I tend not to talk, so...
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a level per episode. But in some other games I might just stream for like, no, not stream sorry, I may just record for like a couple of hours. have uncovered carnivorous larvae of Ochipus Olens, the devil's coach horse. They are born ready for combat, with powerful slicing mandibles for chopping up their prey. They are still small, however, and must undergo a final pupation before their armor is fully developed. If the ants are fast, they should be able to overwhelm these critters. I was expecting to win because I had three of the, the fighting ants ones. Must protect the queen. Yeah, maybe I should have went plus one. The ants must protect the queen. There is no ants left. Queen has fallen. Her body will be dissected and her untended brood pillaged. Most young ant colonies will end this way. Just another meal for the creatures of the undergrowth. Now the reason why I did so good when I played the game, you know, normally, um, is because I played it on easy mode. Because I was going to complete it on easy, then complete it on normal. Put it on hard. I think it's hard after that. So we're gonna try this, this again. This Fusca queen has set up home beneath a rotting log. She is fat and vulnerable. The first brood will need to move quickly if the colony is to survive. Their priority now is to find food, and there is plenty around. But there are other hungry creatures down here. The workers will need to be vigilant. The ants have encountered a pocket of woodworm. These defenseless weevil larvae will make an excellent meal for the colony. They will be butchered and carried off for processing. After I get all this and get a bunch of these ants, I'm gonna go with this bit.
The workers have uncovered carnivorous larvae of Ochipus Olens, the devil's coach horse. They are born ready for combat, with powerful slicing mandibles for chopping up their prey. They are still small, however, and must undergo a final pupation before their armor is fully developed. If the ants are fast, they should be able to overwhelm these critters. So you can actually tell when it's the um, the child and the adult, because the children ones are smaller, and then the adults are like the big ones. There are intruders in the nest. So this channel, Tormund Adventure 3, I'm going to be posting a lot more than the other channels, I think, because... If the answer disturbed the adult of these larvae, the outcome for the colony may not have been so fortunate. So we must I'm expand with caution. So I'm going to be posting on this channel more, because... I really love like gaming. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. These wood lice will make a significant addition to the colony's larders, but they are clinging tightly to the ground. It's going to take some effort to dislodge them. The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Intruders in the nest. Mm -hmm. 
traps then I'm gonna break open this bit um let me think go up here to this bit and then maybe this bit after done yeah I think that's what I'm gonna have to do here, get some of these. There are intruders in the nest. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. have 20 ants left. So I'm getting these ones because those do more damage than the workers. So we want ones that do more damage than the workers because then they would be able to defeat this. But all the adults, the adult ones are quite strong. wrong thing. I went to make the warriors do whatever they want and the workers to break open this bit. I think I'm actually going to get a couple of workers though. Also, um, those extra levels in Empire of the Undergrowth, 
and I'm hoping to play some of those as well on this channel. Just got to get these and I'll head here, 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 and then finally there. So I'm going to let the warriors do whatever they want because the workers still need to build these. Once that's done, we're going to head over here. There, there, and do that. And then we'll head over to this bit. Then this bit. How do we only have three workers? That's fine. Just Even are the workers? Can't tell if those are the workers or the soldiers. No, that is definitely a worker. They just, they just aren't digging for some reason. I'm telling them to. Oh, look, and now. Now you want to do it. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Well, let's see how good we're doing against an adult. Intruders in the nest. The ants have stumbled into the path of a fully developed devil's coach horse beetle, and it's hungry for breakfast. The beetle is almost four times the size of a black ant, and protected by thick plates of external armor. Whilst it bites at the tiny defenders, it sprays foul-smelling secretions from the end of its raised abdomen, disorientating the ants. The devil's coach horse is dead. Its corpse will provide food to support dozens of new brood. But there's still two more of those to go. And I don't feel... Oh, I mean, I had 37 and only 21 survived. And there's two of them, along with a bunch of these. So the way you can tell if it's a worker, that's the worker, is they're smaller than the other ones. See? Thank <laughs> you. 
predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. I'm actually going to want to change the name of what I thought this channel was going to be originally. Keep seeing Turtle Man Avenger 3. I might do that at some point, but this channel, I'm going to name it. Um, hold on, let me think. Lizard Gaming. No, no, no. So I have got a lizard. Um, I might show him once I figure out how to make what the. Um, how do I say it? Like, how does like the face cam? So I figured out how that works. I'll show Blaze. It's, it's the name of my bearded dragon. to wait a bit for the eggs to hatch. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. So if I make this go there, this go there. Hopefully they'll still get this though. Wait for the workers to go off a bit because I've only got one worker. Because this battle. You know what? I'm gonna wait for these to hatch all 49 of them, oh, all 50 of them then. There we go. I think the workers should do whatever they want. And I'm going to delete the ones that haven't been made yet. So I need to save up food so I can get more to hatch. So we can do this final bit. So they can't get other food, they can do whatever they want and I'm just going to have to wait here for a bit. Wait for all 52 of them. To hatch. 
running in the workers as well. I'm going to start to put the workers in there because it's just the final bit that I'm doing now. So I've just, I'm just waiting for these to hatch. There's one little bit of food there I can get. Oh wait, I can't collect any more food. No. How do they keep getting more food? Oh, that's how. Um, just gotta wait though. I have just got to wait. I'm sorry that the video is going to have to be a bit longer, but I've got to wait for, well, to get all these guys done. I'll move these ones out, 34 out of 59. It's 30 out of 50, so forgot about these workers. I've just got to wait until it hits 52. So we're going to be waiting here for a couple of minutes. Um, We're so close, we have 40 ants, we just need 12 more. We need 12 more of these ones. So 12 more is all we need. How have I just realised this? If you hover over one of your ants, like this bit, it shows you where, like, where I've built the egg bit. So let's go here. Look. It even shows you on the little mini-map thing. Let me find out which one this is. It's this one. How have I just noticed that? You know what? Let's just risk it. Let's just risk it. <coughs> I'm not waiting anymore. 
on. I'm, I'm just rescuing it. There are intruders in the nest. Yes, one adult is down. There is. I think that's the last one. I might be able to do this. I, I may actually be able to do this. This Formica Fusca colony has now established itself as a rising power in the undergrowth. Soon their territory will need to expand above ground, where new challenges await. That's my first time beating on medium. The queen is safe. See what? We're on medium. Uh, let's go extra royal jelly. <coughs> now this is my first... Now, uh, how do I end this? Um, gotta think. Well, I'll end the video here. Okay, bye!